Hi guys, this is Liz Canada from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on the Forgotten Postcards workflow. This is actually one of my favorite workflows just because right now that kind of vintage aesthetic or vintage look or old school look is in style right now. And that's what this workflow is really great for because um, it really just adds rich tints and kind of hazy atmospheres to your photographs and just kind of gives them this really nice look. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to kind of achieve that um, vintage look with this workflow. So I've got a photo pulled up and we're just going to go ahead and start. And so I'm actually going to go into my presets, my forgotten postcard presets. And the first thing I'm going to do is it actually comes with these vintage presets. So I'm going to start with one of those. And for this one, I'm using the matte autumn. So as we can see, it's kind of added a little bit of a brown tone and just darken the photo up a little bit. Next thing I'm going to do is just polish this up a little bit by using a polish preset and I'm going to go for the sharpen and on top of that I'm going to stack a base preset and for this one I'm using what dreams may come just to add a little bit of light to the photograph. So I've applied three presets so far and it's already made a little bit of a difference. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the brushes that come with this workflow. So I'm going to scroll down to my forgotten postcards brushes. The first one I'm going to start with is the, the sharpened face. So I kind of want this hazy atmosphere to this photograph because that's the kind of look I'm going for. But I don't want that to necessarily apply to her face. Um, I do want her to still stay in focus. So I am going to use this kind of all just around her face here and on her hand. And I'm going to turn the sharpness up a little bit and the clarity up as well. And then I'm going to hit new and I'm going to do that one more time. The next brush I'm going to use is I'm going to hit new. I'm going back to my forgotten postcard brushes. And for this one, I am going to use the brighten brush. So similar to what I did with the sharpen brush, I'm just going to use the brighten brush kind of on her face here, just on her in general, just to kind of bring a little bit more light. And I'm going to turn the exposure up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and tweak this brush a little bit just by turning the highlights down a little bit more and the contrast up a little bit. So the next thing I want to do um, you don't have to do this. This is just something I do. A lot of times when you are applying this kind of vintage look to your photographs, you know, you're using warmer, rich tones, and a lot of times what happens is eye color gets kind of washed out, and I'm a really big fan of eye color. So I like to go ahead and basically color the eyes back in so they're a little less muted and a little bit brighter. And what's great about this workflow is you can go into your brushes here and you've got color brushes that come with this. So for this one I'm going for the color aqua because she has blue eyes and I'm actually going to adjust the color a little bit because this color is just a little bit too bright for her eyes. So I just want to go slightly down a little bit and I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller. I do that using the bracket keys on my computer and then I'm just running the color around the iris of her eye. So once I've colored the iris, I'm going to go ahead and turn the saturation up a little bit. And I'm going to turn the exposure up as well to add a little bit of light to her eyes and contrast. All right. All right, so as you can see, we've kind of brightened her eyes up there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the before and after. So we took a photograph from before. It's a, it's a nice photograph. It just has more cooler tones to it. And we wanted to apply this kind of vintage old school. So what we did was added a really rich warm tone to it. And we've kind of added a hazy atmosphere. But we still kept the detail and the color in her eyes here. So if this is the look you're going for, this is definitely a workflow you should try out. I'm going to go ahead and move on to another photograph now. So for this one, I am going to actually start with a base preset. 
And I'm just choosing the auto tone just to add more light to this photograph. Another common effect that you'll see with vintage kind of looks is a matte effect. So I'm going to go down and this actually comes with matte presets. So I'm scrolling down. Let's see. Here they are. All right. So in the forgotten postcards vintage presets, you'll see all these matte presets here. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and use the matte watermelon which has just added a nice warm tone to the photograph. Now I'm going to move into my brushes again. Going back to my forgotten postcards brushes. And right now I'm going to use the brush Brighten. And I'm going to use that all on this little girl here because when I applied the last preset, um, it did kind of darken her up and I want to bring light to her because she is the subject of the photograph here. So I'm going to go ahead and tweak the brush by turning the exposure up a little bit. And then I'm going to hit new and I'm going to do this one more time. And you don't have to be exact with this, uh, just generally running the brush around her. And I'm going to turn the exposure up one more time along with the contrast. Alright, so I'm going to use one more brush. This is kind of an unconventional way of doing things here, but I'm going to hit new. And as I mentioned, there are color brushes that come with this workflow. And I really like the mustard color. It's just kind of a really nice yellow color. And what it does is just adds nice tone to your photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is turn the exposure down a little bit on this brush. And I'm going to use this brush all around, basically all around the edges here. And as you can see, even though it's mustard and it's a bright yellow color down here, it's not really adding a bright yellow color. It's just kind of darkening and adding a richer tone to the photograph here. So I'm going to hit new and I'm just going to do that one more time with the same color brush. Using the mustard one more time and I'm going to turn the exposure down on this one as well and I'm actually going to just make my brush a little bit smaller and this time I'm only kind of running it on the very outer edge here. All right. So here we have the before and after. So the photograph before we've just kind of got a Plain photograph, it's exposed nicely, but what we did was we just kind of added this matte effect and another rich tone, and we added that kind of hazy atmosphere, which we did with the mustard colored brush. And then we added a bunch of light to the little girl in the center just to really bring the focus in on her. So, it really just kind of adds a nice, polished, professional look to your photographs and I mean, really, it's a quick edit, too. I'm going to move on to a third photograph now. This is kind of an unconventional photograph to turn into something vintage, but because it is very clean and modern looking, but I'm still going to do it anyway, because I think that it could be turned into a nice vintage postcard, I guess, in the sense, since it's called Forgotten Postcards. So for this one, I am starting with an all-in-one preset and I'm using the yesteryear which is going to add a matte effect to this and a little bit of muted colors as well. The only thing I don't like is that for this preset the clarity has been turned up a lot so I am going to tweak this preset by turning the clarity back down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my nostalgic effects. So the nostalgic effects come with this workflow as well. And for this one I'm using the Nostalgic Effect Vintage 1, which is basically going to brighten the photograph and add that rich tone, that warm tone in there that I'm looking for. But I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go and tweak this a little bit by turning the highlights down because some of the highlights in this photograph are kind of really blown out. And by blown out I mean they're very bright here, like in the windows and the curtains. The next thing I'm going to do 
is even though I'm going for the effect of muted colors, I do want to bring some of the blue back into the photograph because I think these blue details in their clothing are really nice. So I'm going to go to my colors here. And we're looking for the saturation here. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn the blues up and the aqua as well. So as you can see, it's kind of brought the color back into the clothing. So the last thing I'm going to do, actually first I'm going to tweak this preset one more time. I'm going to turn the shadows down just a little bit, just to add a little more contrast to it. And I'm going to add a vignette to this. So vignettes are traditionally a very, very vintage thing that you'll see on a lot of old photography. Uh, nowadays they're not as pronounced, but it's still nice to put them on a photograph because they kind of really frame the subjects. So for this one, I'm only using the Vignette Subtle Black, and I'm applying that. So as you can see, it just adds a little bit of a darker tone around the outside. All right, so that's all I'm doing for this. So here's the before and after. So we took a picture that was kind of crisp and clean with nice cool tones, and we just gave it that really rich kind of warm tone. And, but we still kept the blues and clothing, which is nice. So here's the before and the after. So this may not be the effect you're going for, but this is kind of in trend right now. And if this is what you're looking for, this is especially what you'll see on Instagram, then this is a really great workflow to have just because it comes with so many presets and so many options to really kind of give that vintage look to your photographs. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to try it out for yourself soon.